Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can collect Webflow data into Google Sheets. Now through Webflow it can be a simple form, it can be a quiz form, it can be a survey form. So here we are using Webflow forms and here in the action step we are using Google Sheets. So what is happening whenever somebody is going to fill a form through your Webflow account, what will happen? The details from the Webflow form will go to the Google Sheets and that will be saved in a database which you can later on access and use it for several different purposes. Now to do this automation we are going to use an integration and automation service Pavli Connect which will help us connect Webflow and Google Sheets together. Now if you want to learn how to use this beautiful automation you have to come with me to the screen. And we are back at our screen. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in pabbly.com slash connect. And after that, what you have to do, you have two options. First one is sign in and second one is sign up. Now you can sign in if you already have an account here. If you do not have an account, you have to go for sign up. Signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you here. Now what you have to do, you have to go for sign in if you already have an account. So I already have an account. So I will just go for sign in. And here I will just click on login. And after logging in, you will see these are my software. So here I'm just going to go for Pabli Connect access now. Now, as soon as I will do that, you will see that these are all the automations I have. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and click on create workflow to create a new automation. And here I am going to give this workflow a name now. And now we are going to give it the name. So the name will be Webflow to Google Sheets because we are going to connect Webflow to Google Sheets. You can name it whatever you want to. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to click on create. And as soon as I will do that, you can see we have two windows here. First one is trigger. Second one is action. Trigger window is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. And action window is the window where an event is happening at the end of the process or when the final event is happening. So what we are doing here, in trigger, we are having web flow submission or I should say web flow form submission. And here I will go for new form submission. Now here you can see uh, we have a webhook URL and here in the webhook URL, what we are going to do, we have webhook URL will be used to connect our Pabli Connect account to our Webflow account. So what we are going to do, we are just going to copy this Webhook URL and then we are going to use these instructions. You have to go to your Webflow account, then dashboard, then project settings, then integration tabs, then go to Webhooks and then add Webhook. So here is our Webflow account. Go here, go to project settings. After going to project settings, you have to go to integrations tab. So here is integrations. And here you have to search for webhooks. So this is the webhook. I'm just going to delete this one. And I'm going to add a new webhook. So let's just add this webhook here. Form submission, add webhook. Okay. So the new webhook has been added, which means our Pabli Connect account is now connected to our Webflow account. Now you can see it is waiting for the webhook response. So whatever response we are going to have in our Webflow form, Let me just open the form. This is my form here. So you can see this is the form I am having. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to publish it. <clears throat> and here as soon as I'm going to submit the form, my Pabli Connect account will take the webhook response. So let's just go back. First name Arpit. Last name Sharma, email address Arpit Sharma at the rate gmail.com and mobile number is 9876545678, a dummy number. And here I'm going to click on submit. Now, as soon as I will click on submit, you will see a webhook response will come here. Arpit Sharma, this is the Gmail, this is the number. So our first step of connecting our Pebbly Connect account to our Webflow form is now completed. So what we are going to do in our next event, here we are going to choose Google Sheets. And what we are doing in Google Sheets, we are adding a new row. So we will go for add new row. Then we will click on connect, add new connection, connect with Google Sheets. Then you have to select the account in which you have your Google Sheets. And after that, you can go for continue. 
so you will uh, pavli connect will ask for the authorization so you have to give it the authorization and don't worry about your data your data with pavli connect is absolutely safe so what is the name of the web sheet web sheet is uh, sorry uh, the name of the spreadsheet so spreadsheet is web flow to google sheets so we are going to choose this web flow to google sheets here and now what we are going to do we are going to use a technique which is called mapping and mapping will let us take the data from this window and it will let us put the data here in this window so first name i am going to map in the first name arpit last name so last name is sharma email email is arpit sharma at the gmail.com and mobile number mobile number is this i am just going to click on save and send test request and as soon as i will do that you will see this is the spreadsheet id and here i have the new spreadsheet entry arpit sharma arpit sharma at the gmail.com and this is my number now i'll again go back here i will refresh it and i'll again make a new entry to test my automation so i'll just go for swati here last name is sharma email address is swati sharma at the rate gmail.com and mobile number is again a dummy number here i am using now i am just going to click on submit once again and as soon as i will do that and i will go back here you can see i have a new entry swati sharma and this is the gmail and this is the number so this is how you can connect your webflow with your google sheet so that whenever a new form submission has been done in your webflow account an automatic row will be added into your google sheets with the details and then you can use that later for different purposes now if you want to clone this beautiful automation you can just go into my description box and you can clone this workflow into your account but for that you need to have an account and for that you need to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and we are also giving you 100 free tasks every month so do not wait go and sign up now hasta la vista so thanks a lot for watching our video i hope you understood everything now if you want any other events to added in our module what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly.com if you have any queries regarding this software you can just ask your queries at this website at this link and if you want to check the prices you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software now i just want to tell you that automation is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you